Hi, it's Monique, licensed clinical social worker and psychotherapist. And today I wanted to speak to you about ways you can start to learn to raise your self-esteem and start to learn to love yourself. I wanted to touch on two ways that you can start to do this. Um, the first, and to me, uh, the most important step is to understand that it actually is a choice that you're making to start raising your self-esteem and loving yourself. So once you make the choice to start loving yourself, um, that you can take the steps that you need to take in order to make this a part of your lifestyle. But if you don't make the choice to start doing it, then um, it makes it very difficult to even recognize that it's something that um, you need to do in your life. So. I think one of the biggest things is just being aware and conscious that you have the power to start loving yourself and to start uh, to put yourself first, to treat yourself better, and to take really great care of yourself, and um, to understand that you are worthy of good and great things in your life. So it really boils down to your mindset and choosing that from this day forward I am going to work on loving myself even if you don't feel it right now you can say from this day forward that I am going to work on putting myself first and learning the best ways that work for me to do that so just understanding that um, you can make a decision to start loving yourself is actually a really huge step so that's one thing. The second thing that I would say is important is to really um, do some self-reflection and to see where some of these beliefs are coming from about yourself. The negative beliefs that you may have about yourself, if you think you're unworthy of love, if you put yourself last a lot, um, if you put yourself down a lot, you want to see where that is coming from and where it stems from. So you may want to journal, you may want to kind of uh, go back to see if you had friends or family or parents who maybe put you down or compared you with other people or just said things that, um, you know, helped to help you to form these negative beliefs about yourself so you want to get to the bottom of where is this coming from you know is it coming from a past relationship or um, like I said childhood or just there's many things that can help to shape and mold our self-esteem and how we look at ourselves so you want to do some honest work with yourself and maybe just sit down and write uh, where you think some of your beliefs are coming from and if there's anything that's going on at this time that is reinforcing those beliefs like if you're you know hanging around negative friends or if you're in a emotionally abusive relationship or if you're just around family members or uh, people who put you down a lot or even co-workers um, or a job that uh, may affect your self-esteem. You just want to see what's going on and what what might be helping to uh, exacerbate the problem even more besides your own thinking. Um, just taking an honest look of where it stems from and what's going on now maybe that might be making it even worse. So you want to explore and you can do that on your own or if you find it's too difficult you can always uh, work with a professional or um, someone to help you work through it. So those are two things that you can start doing because once you get to the root of the belief you can start reframing those beliefs which means that you're going to take that negative thought and you're going to turn it into a more constructive one. I always say if your best friend came to you and started putting themselves down, how would you advise them to look at things differently? And that's the same kind of thing you want to start telling yourself that 
um, you can reframe it to something more encouraging, something more positive, um, you know, something realistic, but something that will be more hopeful than the way you are looking at things in yourself now. Um, so those are some things you can start to do. And like I said, of course, if you need any assistance with this and would like to work with someone, um, you know, I provide uh, online counseling and phone counseling too. Um, if you need any help with that, or if you just have questions, you can uh, post them too, and I will try my best to get to any questions that you may have. But if you would like to work one on one, that we can do that too. So I hope that those two steps uh, have been helpful for you and like I said if you have questions please feel free to post them and I will speak to you soon okay bye bye